Nikolai Paramonov Mansion is a building in the city of Rostov-on-Don. It was built in 1914 for book publisher Nikolai Paramonov. The mansion was designed by Leonid Abrak. There Paramonov lived with his wife Anna Ignatievna and their children. The house is of neoclassicist style and is considered to be an architectural monument of federal importance. Initially, the land parcel on which the mansion stands was separated from Pushkinskaya street by a fence with a refined wrought iron lattice. At one time, there was a large garden with a fountain, which had a concrete pool and an overflow bulb. Along the main compositional axis of the building, there is a front entrance hall, a central atrium hall with a light lantern, and a hall with a bay window that looked out on the open terrace. The major northern facade has a symmetrical composition. In the center, there is a six-column portico of the Ionic order. The side facades are decorated with rows of pilasters. A four-meter double-sided double-arched staircase leads to the main entrance. The ground floor, decorated with rustic, is completed with a white cornice. The appearance of the southern facade is formed by a terrace with picturesque columns standing in two rows. Their capitals were lost in the 1940s. The major entrance hall of the mansion is connected to the central atrium hall, lit by a glass lantern. The building was confiscated by Soviet authorities at the beginning of 1918 and became the headquarters for the rostov nikitschewan Revolutionary Committee. In May of the same year, after the expulsion of the Bolsheviks from Rostov, the mansion became headquarters for the volunteer army. At the end of 1918, a large fire severely damaged the building, and it was not repaired until 1923. After repairs, it became the recreation center for builders, which was soon replaced by Institute of Blood Transfusion. In 1930s, the building was the place for regional museum of local history. During the Second World War, the mansion was damaged by fire several times. In 1947, local authorities decided to have the mansion repaired. Leonid Heyberg was again appointed to be in charge of this work. In 1952, the repairs were finished and the building was given to Rostov State University. The building is currently occupied by the Zhdanev Scientific Library of Southern Federal University. The library is located at more than 10 addresses in the cities of rostov on don and Taganrog. It's a methodological center for libraries of higher and secondary specialized educational institutions in the North Caucasus region. Yuri Andreevich Danov was a Russian chemistry professor and director of the University of Rostov. He was the son of Soviet politician Andrei Zhdanov and a former husband of Joseph Stalin's daughter, Svetlana Levuyeva. He joined Rostov University in 1953, becoming a member of the Soviet Academy of Sciences and eventually rector of the university. He was the author of numerous papers on organic chemistry. One and a half million publications are stored in the library's basements today. There are books from the 16th century to the period of the first Soviet publications that were saved from the persecution of a censorship. The oldest book in Latin dates back to 1530. Also, the library carefully preserves the publications of Don's speech, which have become a bibliographic rarity today. The building located at 150 Pushkinskaya Street also belongs to the Svedu. Most of it is occupied by the Institute and less of it is occupied by a network of modern canteens, Yadav which can boast democratic prices. Samadelka Fafeje, that's what will interest many applicants. It has a variety of opportunities to express yourself. And just for everyone who wants to be useful, the doors of Samadielka are always open.